G'day folks, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. We're just doing a quick walk around video out here today out at Weenie Creek on this awesome little teardrop camper that I've got behind me. Yeah, so a good friend of mine, Carl, that owned the Jeep that you would have seen in a couple of videos and intros, he recently changed vehicles to more of a touring setup with a nice new D-Max fitted out and also this little teardrop camper behind me. So it's a cruisy camper they're based up on the central coast in West Gosford in New South Wales and they basically bring them in from South Africa as not a fully finished shell if you like and then they fit and finish them here so they do upgrades you can specify different tow hitches if need be you can obviously change your batteries as Carl did this one's got a lithium in it so that it matches the lithium in his tow vehicle and that way you don't need to swap charges you change one battery the vehicle will charge both lithium in the car and also in the trailer. It's got a tear weight of 580 kilos and you can go up to around 1150 GVM with it. So even though that's a lot of extra weight and not many people would load them up that much, it's good to know that you've got that buffer zone there. They do come standard with inertia style mechanical brakes, but you can also upgrade that if you like to obviously electric and at 580 kilos empty and 1100 odd full, if it is fully loaded, it's well worth considering an upgrade to electric brakes because then you've got the tow control in the vehicle as well. So if you're doing any sort of steep work, hill descents, etc., you can really slide your brake controller up or down accordingly to help with the, the braking vehicle in front. The reason I spoke to Carl about getting this out here today to do a clip on it, I really do love, I genuinely love the teardrop camper style of camper trailer. Like today, we've pulled up here and not even maybe six, seven minutes or less. Awning's out, the slide on tables are on, the kitchen's ready to go, fridge is already running. It's a super fast setup. And if you are touring a big lap of Australia, I like the idea that you can pull up, you can drive all day until you're tired. You pull over, you lock your car up, jump in the back. You've got a full night's sleep in a nice comfy waterproof enclosure, if you like. And then you get up the next day, have your coffee, pull the back door down and away you go again you can keep traveling so they're a fantastic setup for touring you don't have to be setting up swags or rooftop tents you literally climb in the back and you're good to go so I'll grab the camera off and I'll do a walk around and show some of the features on it it's a really good setup like I said the, the little slide on tables and all it was a couple of minutes and you're ready to cook lunch so let's go for a walk so Carl opted to change to the 
poly hitch style as opposed to a standard 50 mil hitch it gives you full articulation on the track so you've got movement up and down and 360 degree circle that way which hopefully you'd never get in that situation there you go so if you <laughs> if you look but back in your trailers three, if you're doing 360 there's an issue right yeah <laughs> but it just gives you peace of mind that you, you're not putting a lot more pressure on a standard 50 mil ball. Got a solar input there as well on the front and that goes straight into the power management system in the box here, which we'll open up and have a look at. So inside the box resides a 100 amp hour lithium battery, which helps to keep your weight down on your draw bar as well. And then a big projector PM235 which is a basically a power management system and then if we go around to the side here you'll see there's a, a plug plug on the side there which they do supply the plug for that and that'll allow you to run your 240 volt stuff straight off the side this particular model's the Joey so this is the mid-range there's three models in the Cruzy Camper lineup so this is basically the the center model a little storage box on the side here now these are all fiberglass as well so again keeping the weight down you got a little storage box there which obviously you can put pegs you know little tent peg hammer etc in there locks down on the side they are really good those little storage pockets like that because you can put all sorts of gear we've got a water outlet on the side which is great for washing hands feet you got sand on your feet etc mud what Carl was saying he normally does is just puts a bucket under the ground here because this is the outlet pipe for the sink, which you'll see in a moment. And that way you can capture your water and it doesn't make a mess at the back of the camp setup. Now this little table, this was really good actually. It's got little locating points built onto the back of the trailer. And this table just comes out and goes straight in. It's a similar setup to your windscreen mount, uh, phone windscreen mount for the cars and it's just got a little locking device there that sort of locks it in position. This table normally is fiberglass, the same as the side table. However, Carl opted to get him to make up a custom one which is a little bit longer than normal, but it's out of aluminium, which is a fantastic little workbench. Obviously he's got his Bidgey cooker there, and it's just a simple one leg underneath positions up into the a little locator there and it's adjustable with height so if you're on un, uneven or unlevel ground you can obviously adjust the height up then once you go into the kitchen area you got your snowmaster fridge i think it's it's roughly about 40 liters by the look of it but carl was saying he likes the snowmaster because they're extra tall so you can actually see in there there's a full height wine bottle in there no problem which a lot of fridges struggle with so good fridge couple of 12 volt outputs here at the back which you can obviously charge things off so this is a little add-on Carl's done it's a bicycle drink bottle holder so he's just screwed it on the back there and they use it obviously for hand wash which is great you could use it for whatever you like at the sink there dishwashing etc little tap 12 volt powered tap which is obviously just a little pressure pump so as soon as you turn it on the pump kicks in underneath and gets the water up where it needs to be Across here we've got a little storage compartment, which obviously you can put anything in there. Cutlery would be most commonly used, but whatever you like can go in there. And then these are your, basically these are your pantries. So little canvas style pantries, which as you can see, Carl's got some storage tubs in there with plates and oil, all your essential ki kitchen items that you'd want at hand. So things like your glad wrap and foil, etc. And these are on Velcro, so obviously if you do get dirt or food or whatever on there, or they get a bit scuffed, you can just pull them off there and throw them in the washing machine. Another pantry cupboard, if you like, with the jet boil and things that you want to grab straight away, coffee cups, coffee, etc. a bit of kitchen towel there. And again, that one's on a Velcro, so you can take that off if need be. And then down in the bottom here, there's another little storage compartment, which you could use for anything you can have again tent pegs washing up whatever you like uh, fire lighters as Carl's got in there you know medicine first aid kit even would be good 
and then throughout there's 12 volt LED lighting which are both white and amber which everyone would know the amber is great for keeping bugs down so you got dual lighting on every light actually good little lights those and then on the side here another another little workbench or workspace this is fantastic this is the standard fiberglass one that comes with it but it's got an awesome sail track set up on the side there's two ribbed sail track if you like and that just slides in so that whole table slides out of where it is now same thing just a single leg underneath height adjustable you can virtually get that to any level that you need and then we've got an inbuilt 65 litre water tank in there for the filler and the tank resides basically underneath there and then that feeds around obviously to the tap at the back on the passenger side guard is a two kilo lpg holder which just locks in there obviously the facility that you can put a padlock in there if need be little scrub bars on the side and we'll go inside there's some more lighting on the top here patio lighting which is both amber and white as well so again keeps the insects and creepy crawlies away all right so inside the back here we've got a full-sized queen mattress it's basically 2100 or just shy by an inch or so but 2100 long 1500 wide and Carl's like me he's quite tall so he needs a bit of leg room again dual lighting on the top there with clear and amber lighting a couple of little storage pockets up the back here so shelving inside which obviously you can put whatever you like in there another one in the center in there all fiberglassed inside that's the back wall or rear wall of the kitchen so plenty of storage space for your little odds and ends up in the roof you've got a pop-up roof vent now Carl was saying you can't opt for the fan a lot of teardrops have a little electric fan in the top you can't opt for it on this model because it's a different sized uh, housing to the other model the next model up you can get that roof fan spin around back towards the front of the trailer now so back towards the drawbar they did option for a Sirocco three-speed fan in the corner again a little bit of storage pockets along the top here another little LED strip light there underneath again dual colors amber and white a couple of 12 volt sockets up the top one's a 12 volt sig socket and the other's twin usb obviously a little storage pocket there you can charge your phone wireless speakers etc a little bit more storage here nice and tall in there and the same on the other side so another storage pocket there the mattress is a tri-fold as well so you can actually fold this up into more of a seat if you wanted to just sit in there and chill read a book you know watch your ipad whatever you can fold that up carl said they usually just leave it fairly flat all the time he has put a foam topper on the mattress as well just to add a little bit of extra comfort storage pockets on the side now with the doors basically a solid one piece so you've got a little latch there just to hold it in obviously on the warmer nights you can zip this mesh over which helps to guard against obviously flies bugs mozzies etc and then as opposed to having a separate door on the colder nights you just swing that one back across lock it and you're good to go little side windows there on a gas strut all meshed good thick pinch rubber seals as well so Carl was saying they have camped quite a bit in wet weather recently and it's been great it hasn't leaked it's nice and warm and toasty really good compact setup again porch lighting on both sides got your spare tire on the side it's a great little unit I just thought we'd show that up on top these are the standard awning brackets that 
come with the camper trailer. Carl was saying that they're working on a bit of a prototype at the moment for a quick release bracket similar to Rack Sprax and that will allow the awning to come up a little bit higher and basically do a 270 awning right around the back to cover the kitchen area as well. So that might be a future a future mod that will be seen on this trailer in good time. Now with this awning too they normally do sit as standard they do sit a little bit higher than what it is on Carl's setup. This was done purposely though so that the whole trailer with the awning can fit in Carl's garage so obviously they normally do sit up a little bit higher than what you see there and then once the 270 goes on it will be even higher again to clear the back of the kitchen door or the back of the trailer there so all right so just jumped in here now that's actually really it is really comfy got plenty of clearance what are you carl six something six four. six yeah same as me so you can see there's enough leg room for carl who's six four same as me and it's plenty comfy the mattress is really good plenty of room if you do want to stretch out obviously corner to corner you've got another foot and a half at the end there so I'd happily sleep in this might just have to close that door over and have a have a bit of a nap <laughs> very comfy as standard fitment on each side above the door windows you've got these pull down blinds as well so it helps to add a bit more privacy and also darkness of a night So there you go guys, that's a quick walk around of the Cruzy Camper Joey. If you want more information, I'll put links below. It'll take you straight to their website, but you could speak to Norman Hazel. They're the owners of Cruzy Campers up there on the Central Coast. So, and as I said at the start of this clip, it's not a paid promotion. Just thought I'd show and share it because I know I love this style of camper and I thought it might be informative to you guys out there as well. So make sure you check out their link. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. We are on Facebook and Instagram as well, so make sure you check those out for regular updates. Thanks again, I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there on the tracks. Cheers, guys. While we enjoy watching Carl pack up this awesome little teardrop camper trailer, let me know in the comments below. I'll throw it over to you guys and girls at home. Would you like to see a behind the scenes tour of the factory up there on the central coast? Might be able to sneak in and show you how these things are put together and how they're all constructed, etc. Let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough interest, I will see what I can organize with the owners from Cruzy Campers. Now, back to this pack up and let's get out of here. A good friend of mine, Carl, uh, Carl, a turd that used to live next door to us, and we threw rocks at his house and his cat. No, that'll be <laughs> in the, the truth. That'll be in the bloopers. No, a good mate of mine, Carl. Recently, some of the features on this as well. There's a few to few to go over. Get out. Uh, holder. Drink bottle holder for a bicycle. Drink bottle. Yeah. This little holder is good. It's off. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a drink bottle. <laughs> drink, drink, bicycle drink bottle holder. On the other guard around on the passenger side is a gas butane can, whatever you like to call it, holder. <laughs> it's still early on a Sunday. <laughs> now, inside, this is where. I was going to say this is where it happens, but that sounds wrong. <laughs> this is where the love happens. Yeah. <laughs> Carl the love guy. This is the, this is the love shack on wheels. And then inside.